Tens of thousands of villagers on the Indonesian holiday island of Bali are refusing to evacuate a 10 km danger zone around an erupting volcano, putting their fate in the hands of the gods or simply staying put to protect homes and livestock. The glowing, 3,000-meter Mount Igong, considered sacred by many on the Hindu-majority island, started spewing huge columns of ash at the weekend and there have been constant tremors and volcanic mud flows since. Search and rescue teams, making daily forays into the zone say some are refusing to leave their cattle unattended, while others have spiritual reasons. The government has been clear about evacuation orders, but some people are slow to act or want to stay, said Gita Ardana, head of Bali's search and rescue agency. We cannot force them, but we will be held responsible, so we need to convince them, for cattle farmer Kedit Suarte, there was no question of staying put. There was thick ash falling around us and we could smell sulfur. We were scared and we decided to leave immediately, said Suarte, 47, now staying in an evacuation camp just outside the danger zone. Suarte's father recalls the last time Mount Agong exploded, in 1963, killing about 1,000 people as pyroclastic flows, made up of hot gas and volcanic matter, raced down the mountain. Satopo Parwo Nugroho, of the Disaster Mitigation Agency, said about 43,000 people had heeded advice to take shelter, but with an estimated population of 90,000 to 100,000 in the danger area, many had not. Ika Wardani, 33, sleeps with her family at an evacuation center at night but during the day returns to her cattle farm about 10 kilometers north of the volcano. During the day at least we can see the volcano. But we are uncomfortable sleeping here at night because an earthquake or a loud explosion would cause panic, she said. We would have to drive our motorbikes at night and the roads are narrow so it's safer to spend the nights at the evacuation center. She says there are people only 5 km from the crater who have refused to evacuate. The government has set up radio stations and chat groups on social media to warn people of the risks. Many people have made the decision to stay inside the exclusion zone, and that is clearly very dangerous, said Sotopo Parwo Nugroho, a spokesman for the Disaster Management Agency. Others, including tourists, are taking unnecessary risks by trying to take selfies as close as possible, officials say. Last month, a Frenchman shared a video of himself at the crater's edge on social media. In September, when authorities first raised the warning alert to the highest level, an exclusion zone of up to 12 kilometers was imposed, prompting nearly 150,000 to leave, but when no major eruption occurred, many returned and the warning status was lowered. When authorities again raised the warning level this week, many were reluctant to move again.